I'm Bill Hickman, professional stunt driver and actor. I did the drive for Gene Hackman in the Oscar winning film, The French Connection. As a professional driver, I must know my cars. After all, I depend on the performance more than the average driver. I'm here in Atlanta to compare the 1973 Catalina with its major competition, the Impala, Galaxy 500, the Fury 3, the cars that are priced right along with the Catalina. Before we get into the car-by-car -car comparison, I'd like to point out a few of the Catalina's features that are not available in the others. First, for a comfortable big car ride, Catalina has a wheelbase of 124 inches. That's two and a half inches more than the Impala, three inches more than the Galaxy, four more than the Fury 3. And for better overall engine performance, all Pontiac V8s have the latest exhaust admission control, plus cold air induction, which feeds denser air into the engine, resulting in better cold weather starts, improved economy, increased power, and better drivability. Catalina also has an additional front-end strength, provided by the solid structure. Catalina's new instrument panel and cluster makes it easier to operate or read the control or gauge. And for those who need them, there are two large front seat ashtrays. The Impala only has one. It's small. Pontiac quality is apparent when you compare interiors. The style is a matter of personal taste. But I think you'll agree, the new Catalina grill and front design is hard to beat. It looks good now and will look good for a long time to come. The Ford Galaxy 500 is another car that's priced with Catalina. But for additional comfort, the larger Catalina has more interior room. Catalina's large trunk has over three cubic feet more capacity. Plus, its flat floor makes it easy to unload because there's less inside leftover height in the Catalina. The new bumper system cushions minor impacts. Catalina has over 700 more square inches of glass area for greater all-around visibility. And the radio antenna is embedded in the windshield, where it is less subject to vandalism and damage to prevent unnecessary replacement of lower ball joints. There are special wear indicators. This feature allows a visual check of ball joint wear. If you can see the seat below the cover, then no replacement is needed. Just another example of Pontiac's desire to protect you and your investment. Inside, you can see the advantages in seat fabric and the attention to details like instrument panels, design, and appearance. It's all a part of Catalina's billion value. Plymouth Fury 3 is another competitor. The Catalina style gives it an obvious edge. The new bumper system cushions minor impacts. In addition to its longer wheelbase, the Catalina is 375 pounds heavier than the Fury 3. This, plus the wide track and full coil suspension, provides smooth ride and handling. For added comfort, Catalina's large interior offers more passenger, head, shoulder, and leg room. And the full foam seats are standard in Catalina, not offered in the Fury 3. Well, we set out to determine Catalina's relative value compared to Ford, Plymouth, and Chevrolet. I believe our comparisons speak for themselves. White track people, they do have a way with cars. And what's more, the automotive market report shows that 1971 Catalina had less depreciation than any of its competition. That's the kind of value you get from Pontiac. I hope you'll agree with me and that you'll go the Pontiac way in 73.